Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to customize your buttons in WordPress Bloxy. In a previous video, we simply showed you how to link to an external site. Now, since we link this to our YouTube channel, we kind of want this to look like a YouTube subscribe button. So how do we customize how it looks like? Let's go ahead and enter the block editor by clicking on edit page and we're taken to the block editor and you can see here we have our button let's click on this and you can see we have a bunch of different options now if we were to take a look at our block inserter this is a stackable button if you wanted to have an animation you could grab one from green shift and drag and drop it over here and we can compare the two if it even loaded and drag and drop that here nope oh, okay over here how about or right there if it would let us okay there we go and you can see that it basically looks the same, but the difference with this one is that in our advanced settings, we have an animation. So let's just try that. And if you scroll down, this would appear. Huh? See that again? Or let's change it to a different one. Yeah, if you wanted to do that. So let's go ahead and do away with the stackable one. You can see it's taking a bit of re it's taking a bit of resources to try and uh, edit this. Let's click on this and remove it altogether. All right, and we can just delete this group, and we will have this one over here, which is not linked to anything. So let's go ahead and. Subscribe. Oops. Scribe. There we go. And let's choose a different animation. Clip left. Okay. And let's go under general. Open it on a um, new window. No, we want to open it at the same one. So that's going to be our link. And let's look at our presets here. And there's a bunch to choose from here. Well, we can choose this one. And we can go ahead and scroll all the way down to the icon. We can put an icon here. And if you wanted, we can search for YouTube. There we go. And we can change how wide it is. And we can make it red. Okay. And when you hover over it, we can make it uh, white. Okay. And we can make it uh, a bit larger or smaller, depending on what we want. And icon transitions. Let's see. Or fifty. All right. And let's go over here to background and we'll change this to red, red, red. And as you can see we have now lost our icon in the color so let's make it white and then let's make this uh gold when we hover over it uh, old school youtube and we can change the back uh the spacing of it if we wanted to the margins uh, we can add a shadow to it just to make it more interesting looking like that and when we hover over it that yeah, it's not that noticeable and we can change the size and we can just set this to automatic and if we wanted an easy way to make it a bit bigger we can click on enable resize and just drag it If it would let us. Okay. 
There we go. And then we can pull this down. Get it bigger for us. Okay, I think I'm good with that. And we can change the font size to be a bit bigger. Uh, let's make it uh, font size 18. There we go. And we can change it, change it to custom font if we wanted to, but uh, I don't think we need that for this one. Let's deselect the button. That looks good. Let's save it and check out our changes. Okay, so here we are with the old stackable button. Let's reload our site. And we now have our green shift one with a really cool animation and color changes and size and color and whatnot. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.